The CDC is trying to help air travelers get over their Ebola fear. Director Dr. Tom Frieden says in a statement yesterday, quote, at this point, there is zero risk of transmission, and there is no reason to think that anyone on the flight that he was on would be at risk. CBS News travel editor Peter Greenberg is here with a different view. Peter, good morning. Good morning, Sean. So what do you think? Well, you know, there's not really an effective program for screening worldwide for this problem, but there is precedent for it. Uh, 2001, we had hoof and mouth disease in the United Kingdom. They had huge screening pro uh, programs in the United Kingdom based on just a conversation. Have you been on a farm recently? Right. That would uh, start another conversation. Right. Then 2002, 2003, we had SARS in southwest China. Guess what happened? You couldn't get on or off an airplane without having your temperature taken. Mm -hmm. You couldn't go to any airport but, anywhere there. But, Peter, that's the thing with Ebola. He was asymptomatic when he boarded the plane. He appeared totally fine. He would have passed screening. In fact, he did pass screening in Liberia. Yeah. So the thing is, it gets down to the conversation. So many connecting passengers. That's the key. It's not a question of somebody flying from Los Angeles to London or London to New York. It's a question of connecting passengers from at-risk areas. So, for example, in Doha, in, in, in Abu Dhabi, and Dubai, 70% of the passengers aren't flying there. They're flying through there. That's where the conversation has to take place. So what should passengers do, then, to protect ourselves? Well, basically, basic uh, hygiene, you know, mm -hmm. take antiseptic wipes. As Dr. John LaPook reported, the incubation period, 2 to 21 days. So you might pass the screening, but right. you have to pass the conversation first. Have that conversation. If your airline's not doing it, the government needs to do it. You have to do it, though, at the connecting points. United Airlines is not required to tell other passengers who were on board this plane with this Ebola patient that, that they were traveling with someone who had Ebola. Why not? Uh, thank the lawyers for that. It's liability. We're in a very litigious society right now. Uh, what they're saying is they're saying it because of concerns of privacy. They're worried about liability. Mm. Bottom line here, it's full disclosure. Airlines need to lobby the governments. Governments need to lobby their own individual health organizations to do that conversation in the connecting points. Although I must tell you, in 2009 when we had the swine flu, the World Health Organization basically came out and said, we don't need travel restrictions, we don't need proper screening in that re in regard because it's not going to affect the disease transmission anyway. But there are reports that they appear to be reaching out to some of the passengers. Why would they do that? Well, they're still concerned about liability. Yeah. Uh, the bottom line here is you have to have that conversation. I can't stress okay. it enough. Yeah, yeah, you do. That's the point. Mm -hmm. you got to have a conversation to find out where you've been and what... That open, because if you say to somebody, have you been in Liberia recently right. or Sierra Leone, that, that creates another conversation. Yeah. Now, mm -hmm. you have some airlines, by the way, uh, that are actually voting. Okay. British Airways, no longer flying to certain parts of the world. Okay. You know, and that's exactly what mm -hmm. they're doing. All right. Thank you, Thank Peter you. Greenberg.